Good morning. This is Phil Perlman. It's weekend with All Star Charts. I'm here with JC Peretz, All Star Charts himself, Eagle Bay Capital. JC, how Billy. are you? Good man. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Uh, it's getting a little chilly out, right? A little. <laughs> it's cold. It's like uh, winter's almost here. Something like that. What is up with that, man? Well, you know, it happens, right? You going to the Jets game tomorrow? Is that what's going I, on? I am. Dad's uh, dad flew into town, and we're going to Dolphins Jets tomorrow. I got to take advantage when the boys are in town, regardless of how bad their offensive line is. Very nice. Um, okay, so let's let's get right into it. Let's talk uh, a little bit of natural gas, and let's get into it. Even though uh, it's going to take me just a minute here to bring up these charts, but um, okay, so natty gas were. It's the end of November. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, first of all, what, 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 how, how you're looking at it here, and also what's going on seasonally with Natty Gas? Sure. Well, we had a killer run. If you remember a couple of months ago, Phil, um, you know, it was definitely one of the best trades we've put on all year. You and I have talked about it on that key reversal. I believe it was at some point in, uh, in early October, if I'm not mistaken, maybe in September, that key reversal day. Uh, if you bring up the chart, we could definitely point to it. Um, and, and we've had a killer run. You know, what, what, what kind of worries me a little bit is how quickly we got back up to this resistance. This week, I, I expected us to run into a little bit of trouble out here and then kind of consolidate and perhaps, you know, figure out an entry point based on that. And it really just went through that resistance without even acknowledging it, um, which is interesting. We're not in it. Um, but I think it's definitely worth pointing out this key resistance, how many times we've run into it. Phil, I, I did a blog post about it earlier this week. Didn't get much attention, which is always interesting, you know, when... When everybody agrees and everybody likes it is, uh, you know, as, as you always tell me, is when you need to be a little cautious. So but even though we're breaking, attention. even though we're breaking above this level here, what do you, what do you call this level? It's uh, uh, 384, 3847, is that, or th three, 387, 384? Yeah, 387 or so, yep, yep. So even though, even though we're breaking above this level here, which we haven't been able to break above uh, over the past, uh, you know, four months or so, and we're finally breaking through it after testing it three or four times. Uh, you're not hearing a lot about it. Um, you know, once it once it started making six month highs and everything, you know, the media started to pick up on it. You know, that's a great headline. Natural gas at six month highs. So yes, they are talking about it at this point. Me personally, the only thing that worries me about it up here is is the fact that how quickly it got to the resistance and it just broke through it like it wasn't even there. You know, I, I like to see a con some sort of consolidation, some sort of a, uh, acknowledgement of that uh, of sellers at that level. You know, it running up into resistance and breaking through. I mean, that's got false breakout written all over it. I hate that. So that's the reason I'm not in it. But I think structurally, I think the natural gas looks extremely constructive. I like it bigger picture, um, and I I'm looking for ways to get involved for sure. And so you're not in the position here yet. No, because like I said, it, it, it's not my, my perfect setup, and, it, and if it's not there, it's not there, Phil. You know, you can't force it. So what is it, you know, what makes it, per, you know, what, what are you looking to enter exactly? Ideally, um, and like I wrote about it earlier this week, you know, I didn't really have an exact entry point. My best case scenario would, would have been some sort of acknowledgement of, of that resistance around that 387, like you mentioned, maybe a little bit of a pullback, a couple of days of consolidation. Just acknowledge that the sellers are there. And then break out. You know, that would have been my perfect uh, entry point, but it didn't even do that. It just ripped right through it like it wasn't there. So to me, um, I'd like to see some sort of pullback, at least maybe get back to that former resistance, and maybe that could be a good entry point. So you're looking for a pullback to the 387 level. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, maybe, and that would be perfect for you in terms of, hey, now I have a clear entry. And then if that occurs, what would be your you know what would be your uh, your stop? How would you play getting out of your wrong? Right. Well, to your point, you just mentioned that that would be a clear entry. But more importantly, we want to look at the exit, and that's the whole point. So if we pull back to that 387, acknowledge that level, and then start to rally a little bit, that's your stop right there. Because if we roll over and break down below that, all bets are off. So that's really the ideal scenario. And you know, you know, Mr. Market, it never gives you the perfect scenario. So we're just gonna have to take it one day at a time. So it's just a beautiful setup here, potentially. You have the breakout. You're looking now for the pullback. It gives you defi very defined risk below that level. So you don't have to worry about how much risk you're going to take. You know ahead of time. Yeah. Um, and it's a bullish, uh, a bull potentially bullish setup. 
All right, yeah. JC, we're going to wrap it up right here. Uh, great to talk to you as always. And we're going to do another set. So we'll, we're going to talk. Uh, we're going to talk broad market seasonality. And I'll see you just in a few.